What's up you guys? Welcome back to another video. So today, as you all can tell, you girls in the gym. So today we are filming a workout routine video. This is literally my highest requested video. Like I get DMs almost every single day asking me what is my workout routine? What do I do? And Kind of like what do my workouts really look like so today i'm gonna be showing y'all what i do so this is kind of gonna be like a series a three-part series so today is full body day um i'm gonna do a slim and thick routine for like booty day and then i'm gonna do like an upper body but today is full body so today i'm gonna show you guys what i do so to be quite honest with y'all i literally get all of my workouts from instagram and tiktok um honestly like i don't have a trainer i really train myself and i have officially lost 30 pounds i was like yeah it's about that time to show y'all what i do because i kind of want to run y'all up on game on how to lose weight if you can't afford a trainer or you don't want a trainer um or you're someone who you always feel like you need to work out with someone else baby i work out with myself every single time and like i said instagram and tiktok are going to be your best friends so make sure y'all keep on watching this video because baby we are about to get to work and i hope you guys really enjoy this routine but before we get into the workout i always do cardio so i start off with cardio if you're trying to lose weight full body days are very very important so what I did at first to lose the 30 pounds that I lost was a lot of cardio. So 25 to 30 minutes. Right now, I'm my goal weight. So I only do like 20 minutes. But for today's video, I'm only going to do like 10, 15 minutes on the treadmill. But you can do the treadmill or if you go to the gym. So typically, I go to like the gym gym where they have a lot more equipment. So I'll do like the Stairmaster for 20 minutes. But today, we're going to do treadmill incline. I'm going to do 15 incline. Um, about 10 15 minutes and then speed of 4 to 4.5 that is gonna make you sweat so let's go ahead and let's go over to the treadmill But I know your workout is to burn as many calories as you can. So, I would be saying, I never do less than 20 minutes of cardio, just because I wanna make sure I burn a lot of calories, and I'm still trying to burn some fat. So today I did incline, like I was telling y'all before, in between, well 15 incline, and then in between the speeds of 4.9 and 4.5, and I always just fluctuate until I get to 15, 20, 25, 30 minutes so i just keep going up and down up and down so once i get up to 4.5 then i go back down to kind of give yourself a little bit of a break and pace yourself now disclaimer i'm not a nutritionist i'm not a dietitian i'm not a trainer i'm not any of that i just feel like what i've done has given me results so i feel like it could, it could give you all results as well but now we're getting into the most important part so though i do 20 to 30 minutes of cardio cardio doesn't end right here so now we're actually about to do a hit workout these are considered they're called hit workouts but it's high intensity workouts that's basically what hit stands for so like i said i get a lot of my stuff off of instagram so i'm actually gonna go through one and show you guys what i do like i said Whenever you're trying to lose weight, you need to do HIIT workouts. When I would do cardio and then do HIIT, that's what really started to make me lose weight. So, we're about to do, I'm gonna kinda show you guys like a little sneak peek. It's a lot of stuff. Now, as y'all can tell, she has weights. We're using weights, but with weights, what you need to do is you start low. Like whenever you're doing HIIT workouts, cause it's still cardio, you don't wanna do a lot of weights. So, what we're gonna do is we have fives 
have tens and I have fifteens. Now, I may not really use the fifteens a lot, to be honest, but I'm definitely going to use the fives and the tens. So, we're going to start off with, like I said, this hip workout has like eight different workouts. So most hip workouts you do like an interval of like 30 seconds or you do a certain amount of reps. And then once you do those reps, you move on to the next one. It's typically anywhere from five to like 10 workouts at once. We're gonna do this three times. So the workout that I'm gonna show you guys, we're gonna do it three times. So if you haven't gotten up and started working out, come on, let's work out and get it together for body day. So we're gonna start off with this one. Like I said, Grab your fives, grab your tens, and let's get going. Quick thing, so I did want to speak over some of these clips here real quick because first and foremost, I do want to tell y'all, watch your form. I don't want you to break anything or strain anything while working out, so just make sure you are watching your form. I'm not perfect, but my form has gotten better as I just continue to do it. And then in addition to that, I did see on here, I put 45 seconds to a minute or even the reps. I recommend doing 45 seconds to a minute because you're going to burn quicker so if you want to see results quicker i typically say put that timer on that phone sis and do 45 seconds to a minute for each of these workouts okay so for this one we'll do the fives because this one is a little bit harder on camera it may not look as hard when you're doing it it's a little bit harder so for this one you might want to go a little bit wider because it is a little bit harder Because what's going to help you shred and tone is doing a lot of weights. I've realized that once I got in the gym and started doing heavier weights, that's when I really started losing weight. So you can't forget to do weights. Do not neglect upper body or really full body at all whatsoever. So 
make sure you're actually doing weights. It hurts, but baby, when you start to see it pay off, you're like, oh yeah, that was worth it. So let's go ahead and get into these weights. Right, so now, I really do 15, 20, depending on the workout. So right now, I'm my 15 is going. I'm gonna grab me a 20, I'm gonna show y'all why I'm doing this in a second. And then also grab a 25 pound plate. Um, I have my little bench right here. So I'm gonna do like some chest workouts. And then I also use this machine right here. I'm gonna show y'all why, but you wanna see like, get the hourglass figure out whatever you know what I'm saying. You have to do a lot of back workouts. That is the secret, I don't know if you know that lot of back workouts i can't really show y'all everything i do because my equipment in here is kind of limited but i'm gonna still show y'all like a gist and like i said i'm gonna link a lot of other workouts down below that y'all can do in the gym if you've been going to the gym okay so uh, let's go ahead and get started Another alternative that I also do for triceps is if you have a bench, something else that you can do, it's going to target same area. You can kind of put your arms up on the bench. This is really good for beginners. If you're not really like, ah, I don't want to start using weights just yet, this is an alternative. So push yourself out, tricep dips. You get just a little bit closer, but you're lifting yourself up with your body weight. So your arms are lifting you up. So that's just an alternative. I wanna show you guys that just in case if you don't really wanna do it with the weights, you can do that. I feel like tricep dips are a little bit harder than doing weights, but you see results quicker typically doing the tricep dips. And then another thing that I wanna put in this video is push-ups. Y'all, you can never go wrong with push-ups. So typically you can do regular push-ups. It took me a long time to be able to do a push-up. Not a girl push-up, but a push-up. You know what I'm saying? So you could do push-ups like that or crisscross your knees and do a push-up. You could do it like that. Or another thing, it's an alternative too, is you can do push-ups on the bench. So, either way goes, you're targeting of the body, full body. Yeah, so now this is gonna be the last workout of the day. Like I said, we're targeting back, arms, all of the above. Like I said, full body days for me are typically upper body. So I'm focused a little bit more on upper body today than I will on legs. Um, but now we're going to do this workout right here. So you can grab any piece of like this that's in the gym, put it on a machine that looks like this one right here. And then I do 50 pounds, but kind of gauge what you can lift or what you can do. Typically with this one, you can lift a little bit heavier because you don't feel it as much, but this is a really good for back. This is what really got rid of like the back rolls and all the like the fat you have back here. A lot of workouts that really deal with back and cardio, of course. So now we're gonna go ahead and do this workout. So typically you just get down on one knee like this and then push back.
So by the end of this video, you should be drenched. As y'all can see, I'm not really drenched because really today I didn't really try to fully get a workout in. I was really focusing on getting a video for y'all of like what I do typically. But I did want to end this video with saying, first and foremost, it takes a long time to see results, okay? It took me about a year little bit over a year for me to get to where i'm at now and that was consistency if you're not disciplined if you don't have consistency you're not going to see results also it takes some people a little bit longer than others like i was that person i was not fit i did not do sports in high school or college or any of that so it took my body a little bit longer to actually lose that fat so with all of that being said do not be discouraged like it's gonna be okay after today's video if you look at this and you're like okay i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna do this in the gym keep on doing it keep going to the gym go three four five times a week i was going five to six times a week at one point and even doing two a days because i was that dedicated and i was that consistent so if you're not dedicated if you're not consistent you're never going to see results but do not be discouraged it takes some time baby Good things do not come easy, okay? So I hope y'all really enjoyed this video. Like I said, I'm gonna tag a lot of these workouts down below. If you do not follow me on Instagram, follow me. Whenever you check out of the gym, tag me. I'll repost you on my Instagram story. Um, I hope you guys really enjoyed this routine video. What other routines do you wanna see? I got a couple others, but if there's something specifically that you want me to upload or really talk about when it comes to my journey, I'm more than willing to do that. So make sure y'all let me know down below. But again, I love y'all. Hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, I'm not, you know, a guru when it comes to fitness, but we're getting there. So yeah, love y'all.